You know, as, as we step back and look at and think about marketing, it's, it's really become one of probably the most important parts of the farming operation. Um, the risk is getting higher, the input costs are higher, and what they really need to be able to do to manage everything is, is to put together a comprehensive plan. The best way to go about implementing the marketing plan is to first look at their farm. Understand what they're going to be producing, what the crop insurance is that they have. Then another step would be to go ahead and take in a field day like the soybean management field days. Understand how they can enhance their production, how they can enhance their marketing so they gain the knowledge that they need. Once they've done those two things, then what they're able to do is they're able to look at their own personal goals that they have for their farm and then bring that plan together and then see how that plan works as the conditions change as they go forward in time. BASIS has been a, a new risk that's came in over the last few years. What's been changing is that we continue to see more demand for the Nebraska soybean. Um, it requires the farmer to watch parts of the price that he's never had to watch before. The basis is the difference between the futures price and the cash price. And depending on where you're at, it, it tells a story about what the local demand is. And as local processors need more bushels, the basis will fluctuate and change. So that gives them an opportunity to manage and fine tune a part of their uh, farming operation that they never had that opportunity to before. Nebraska has a great opportunity in the international marketplace. Um, the quality of the Nebraska soybean is very good in regard to the oil content and in regard, in regard to the protein level of the meal that comes out of Nebraska. So it's very much sought after of the, of the national buyers. In particular, China uh, likes to look at the beans. Where we're positioned in the United States gives us um, good access to the soybean markets in, in China. And in addition, since they're feeding that to the pork industry, um, when you have a high quality meal and high quality oil content, it, it works very well into their diets. Well, producers have a challenging task in front of them in terms of managing the risk in their operation. Uh, we can think of production risk, we can think of price risk, put those together you've got revenue to worry about. Uh, there are a number of risk management tools that producers are looking at. Some come from the federal government in terms of the farm income safety net. That's farm programs like the direct and counter cyclical program. That's also farm programs like the new revenue program called ACRE in the 2008 Farm Bill. Well, when we describe the farm income safety net, we're, we're talking about this complex mix of tools that producers can use really to manage risk and, and income in their operation. Uh, that's farm programs, our traditional commodity program focus in the, uh, in the farm bill debate, uh, but we also want to add crop insurance in there. And frankly, with high prices right now, the, the payments under the traditional commodity programs are much, much lower. That means that crop insurance is actually the biggest part of the farm income safety net at present time. Uh, there are also disaster assistance programs. Uh, it's important to recognize the role for all of those within the, the producer's uh, safety net. Well, the risk management scenario, the risk managing risk is going to be a challenging uh, part of the producer's operation. Whether they're putting together the farm program decisions, that's a huge complex uh, decision about which program works better on the operation. Once that decision's in place, then producers have to really do a good job of looking and assessing their production risk, their, their crop insurance needs. There are several crop insurance tools available, some that cover yield, some that cover revenue, but you've got to package the right one together with your farm program decisions. And if you've made that complex set of choices, you've got to package a good marketing plan in there as well to really put your package together.